I don't know how you get everything done because you filmed Moonlight and Hidden Figures while you were writing and recording it. I'm guessing you also were filming Welcome to Marwin during kind of the latter stages of Dirty Computer. Um, tell me about the process of embodying the characters that you do embody in these films and writing your own music and balancing those two kind of mindsets, or I guess like three or four yeah. mindsets. Yeah, people always ask me like, which one do you enjoy most? And and I grew up, you know, as a as a uh, a theater kid, as a, a choir kid. Um, I wrote at the Young Playwrights, uh, the Coterie Theater's Young Playwrights Roundtable, where they picked uh, twelve inner city kids, and it, we would write these short stories. And if our short stories were were great enough, then um, the actors would perform it. And I just always grew up flex, you know, not flexing, but <laughs> flexing. What am I talking about? I grew up exercising my muscle uh, in the arts. You know, the arts saved my life. I just want to say a shout out to any music teachers or, um, you know, any anybody who is making sure that uh, kids have the arts in the school. It kept me from whew, getting in a lot of trouble. I really, thank you. Um, but so I grew up always loving uh, uh, film and, and theater, and I would do talent showcases um, and perform like some of my favorite artists' uh, work. And you know, I just love being an artist and storytelling. Whether I'm storytelling through music or I'm telling a story through film, through theater, through literature, I just think storytelling is a way to connect humanity. I think that you can empathize um, with people through storytelling, and then once you empathize with them, then you might start to like them. Then you might start to love them. And then you might start to see yourself in them and wanna protect them. And I think that's when humanity can unite through storytelling. So um, it's, it's just been great to do that with Moonlight. It's been great to do that with Hidden Figures. Um, it's been great to do that with Welcome to Marwin. Um, I will say that putting your own album out it's totally different than being a part of a movie. When you're in an ensemble, you're doing, you're playing, you know, you're playing a character. Uh, you can, if something goes wrong, you can blame it on production. You know, be like, well, the director told me to do whatever. Um, you know, you're doing what's right for that movie, for that film. When you are putting out an album, everything is under your name. From the snare drum to the visual, it's always what Janelle said. Did you hear what she said on this album? It's directly a reflection of your ideas and your beliefs. And people buy your music because they want to know what you feel. What are you on at this time? Um, so it's, a, it's, it's actually more scary for me to release an album because I'm just like, well, these are my feelings right now. Are they going to be embraced? You know, um, you know, you just have to, and it, and it holds you accountable, and it, and it makes you, it makes me feel more, um, I don't know, more free and just owning you know, my truth and walking in my truth. 